Well, I just arrived in Omaha, Nebraska, and there's wildlife roaming the streets. Of course, I saw these guys live just recently. Check out my video from last week, within 10 feet of me. And they are monstrous, and they're very docile, I thought. But stay tuned for the noon broadcast, and uh, later on today, the city council speech. Well, this building's got me intrigued. The size of it, it's huge. And there's some really old architecture, so we're gonna explore the city. But in the meantime, I wanna let you know that Omaha is home to one of the world's best zoos. It's called the Omaha Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium, and is more like a biological park dedicated to, con to conservation around the globe and home to the world's largest indoor desert. Wow, world's largest glazed geodesic dome and North America's largest indoor rainforest. You're gonna have to check that out and uh, check out a few things around town while I'm killing time before my, uh, my speech. Oh, by the way, um, Warren Buffett's from Omaha. So there are a few things that this town has to offer. Let's check it out. Well, this is the Douglas County Courthouse. Anno Domini um, something, whatever that means. Do you know what that means? <laughs> I want your first name again? Chantel. I'm with Chantel, who's the first Nebraskan, sort of like a Nebraskan, <laughs> that, that, I've, that I've encountered. Why is the city so quiet? Um, is well, it a holiday or something? It's quiet because of, you know, the current pandemic and the current conditions, so oh. people are doing their best to, you know, stay home and stay okay. safe. Okay, okay. That usually is bustling, lots of working people over here. Oh, okay. Being in the downtown area. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So I noticed you on 8-14-2020, you have a very special mask. I do. I just got married this past Friday. It was very exciting. That's, so. very, that's fantastic. <laughs> yes, very excited about it. Now, how, how did you handle a wedding uh, during uh, COVID? Uh, very timely. We only had about 50 people that came, and we were following our... Um, Nebraska directed guidelines um, for that. We make sure we check temperatures when people came in, hand sanitizer, we gave out masks, people were spaced six feet apart. So wow. we did our best to stick with what was supposed to happen okay. during the ceremony, but it worked out very well. You had fun? Mm hmm lots of fun. <laughs> okay, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. But uh, you're leaving Omaha. I am leaving Omaha. For Ohio. Ohio, yes, I'll be um, starting my PhD at The Ohio State University. And what are you going to study? I'm going to be studying um, balance and uh, how it changes as we age. Oh, okay. That's fantastic. So, um, what have you learned from living in Omaha? Because I, I just discovered it today. What I've learned is that the people here are friendly, they're wonderful, and they're so big on community. They fight for what's going to be best for their kids, their families, themselves. Um, and they do not They do it unapologetically. They do it with grace and because they love it here and they want to fight for it. I understand Warren Buffett lives here. He does. Can you point me out to his house? I want to go say hi. I have no idea where he lives. <laughs> <laughs> I'm told he eats at McDonald's every day. How many McDonald's are in town? Oh, uh, there has to be a few. There I, has to I, be, yeah. Yeah, they're all over the place. Yeah, they're exactly every corner. <laughs> so I'm going to go stake out one and see if I can work, meet, meet Warren today. <laughs> <laughs> you might see him there. You, you never might. know. You, you never know. know. you got to try it. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for, um, and by the way, I forgot to ask you, how are you? I'm fantastic today. She's fantastic. She's in love. <laughs> she's married. She's, yes. <laughs> she's leaving town today. Yes, I am. And that's, uh, it's all fantastic. Yes. Have a fantastic life with your husband. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, it looks like this building is called The Rose a Performing Arts Center. Blumpkin Performing Arts Center. It's quite an ornate building. And I imagine it's been around a long time. So I was right, that is the city council building, government building, Douglas County Courthouse, all in one. And as I tell everyone, always be early, never be late. Because when you're early, you could relax, you could uh, practice, you could send emails and texts and all kind of different things. But when you're late, you're miserable, you're stressed, and you won't live as long. So don't be late, be early. That's the message for the day. And of course, I gotta bring bring you a picture, or show you a picture of a church on all these fantastic towns I go to. Uh, there's another nice shot of both those 
buildings I shot earlier. Well, I thought this was going to be the state capitol, but it says it's Central High School. This is the most impressive looking building I have seen for a high school ever. And uh, there is Omaha. And look at that big communication tower up there. Keep all the students learning from, uh, from the internet. And of course, it's a drug-free zone. Penalty doubled under federal law. The first session was in 1859. Wow. So, uh, both high school and central grade are soon, uh, are, uh, I guess, here. Anyway, you can read that. Hit, hit pause and read it all. Well, it's the noon hour, and I decided to stop at McDonald's in case, um, um, what's his name, Warren Buffett stops in. Here he eats here every day. Maybe not this location. It's about a mile from downtown, and uh, I talked to the guy. He says, is Warren going to show up? <laughs> He goes, no, but when they were having the big meetings, they would order 200 coffees from this McDonald's. So maybe he does, maybe he did eat here. The, the dining room is closed. So I'm gonna have my little double cheeseburger uh, on the outside patio here. And you know, just have fun in life. You know, you can't take it too serious. Obviously, he's not gonna show up, but uh, you never know. I've met some amazing people in my life by just being at the right place at the right time. And it's all about timing. It's all, um, you know, sometimes the opportunity does not but once. So take advantage of opportunities. Be positive about your life. And be fantastic. Subscribe, like, share, and hopefully I'll get another good interview. Or another fantastic interview. Even Dr. Fantastic says good now and again. It's a terrible, terrible habit. The word good. Throw it away. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Okay, Okay. so maybe you thought it silly that I wanted to meet um, uh, the owner of Berkshire Hathaway. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to get companies to adopt saying have a fantastic day versus have a good day. And all the companies say that. So check out what Berthway, Berkshire Hathaway owns. They wholly own Geico, Duracell, Dairy Queen, BNSF, Lubrizoil, Fruit of the Loom, Hellsberg Diamonds, Long and Foster, Flight Safety International, Pampered Chef, Forest River, and NetJets. Oh my goodness. Um, and they hold uh, minority holdings in Kraft Heinz Company, American Express, Wells Fargo, the Coca-Cola Company, Bank of America, Apple, Barrick Gold. Uh, I think they own a few companies. And uh, that's the building. It's not the one I showed you earlier. I thought maybe that would be the building. Uh, it's in obviously in Omaha, Nebraska. But, uh, you know, when I can get through to a guy like that and tell him how fantastic it is to um, that words matter and that his company should say have a fantastic day after they complete a sale with, at Geico or all those other multinational companies. Uh, the company was founded in 1839. 181 years ago. Oh, that's a different company. That's um, yeah, Berkshire Hathaway. At any rate, so anybody who knows um, Warren, have him give me a call. 310-913-5533. My direct line. <laughs> have a fantastic day, everybody. Remember, subscribe, like, share. You always learn something on this channel. There's something for everyone. Overpopulated cities around the world selfish and litigious society. Would you like to be happier, live longer, never be forgotten, and help make the world a kinder, more civil place? It's actually easier than you think. Every day you're asked, how are you? Instead of saying good, say, I am fantastic. We'll make you look better, feel great, and reduce your stress. Making the world a better place starts with each person. Please join the Be Fantastic movement today. What you want to be, you can be. Be fantastic.